Hi guys, Katie here. In this series, I explore the fashions behind your favorite on-screen characters. So stick around and make sure you subscribe for more. Thirty years ago, five very cliche high school characters walked into Saturday morning detention. Add in some heartfelt conversations, cheesy dance moves, a few iconic lines, and what emerged was a pop culture classic, The Breakfast Club. My mum was and still is obsessed with this film, first introducing it to me back when I was in high school. Instantly, I fell in love with these individual characters. The grunge and denim of the bad boy criminal, the pink and brown combinations of the princess, all those little details that made each character so unique. Now, I've created some incredible and affordable looks inspired by this film. I am dying to share them with you, but first, I thought I would give you an exclusive look into the creative journey it took to get to this point. The first stop was talking to the insanely talented costume designer behind the original looks, Marilyn Vance. Marilyn has designed the looks for some all-time classic films, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, The Untouchables, and Pretty Woman. She's also a really accomplished film producer, but to bring together this lookbook, I needed to talk to her about how she brings her designs together. Well, I don't go with the fashion of the times. I mean, the big shoulders and, you know, really, it just gives away the period when you want it to be kind of timeless, right? <laughs> when I go to a, 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 to a, a thrift store, I find out my favorite pieces, you know, something that stands out to me. You know, the boots and the overcoat is definitely a thrift store. I will take that one piece and build it from there, go around the store and look for the bottom part, look for the, the hat. You know, I'm very into hats, I love hats, so. You don't want it to look crisp and brand new and off the rack and, you know, you gotta put the character into the clothing. And that's what's so beautiful about thrift store. It's already got that personality. So after my chat with Marilyn, it was all about thrifting. I hit my favorite local stores to find the key pieces to build my looks around. I even scored a few items online to complete the outfits. For dedicated fashion and film lovers, Marilyn's full interview is well worth a watch. With all of the shopping out of the way, it was time to start bringing these looks together. And with a little help from a few friends, that's exactly what we're doing here today. We're bringing life to a fresh lookbook influenced by Marilyn's original designs to help you create outfits inspired by the pop culture classic, The Breakfast Club. Just like Marilyn said, this look is so timeless. And although my favorite element is the beautiful color combination, I think the most important part is embodying Claire's sophistication, which can be achieved with your own midi skirt and knee-high boot combo. You don't need a big budget to look sophisticated though. This head-to-toe look was sourced at local thrift stores. When it comes to the athlete, it is all about a varsity style jacket and a cool pair of kicks. Originally, he sported more of a cobalt blue accent color, but to modernize the look, we opted for navy. If you want to switch things up even more, look out for a jacket with a cool graphic or personalize it with your own patches. Originally, the Brains outfit is the least stylish of the bunch, but there are a few simple tweaks you can make to update this look. For starters, switch out the sweatshirt for a knit sweater and then team a white tall tee underneath. Also, make sure you're cuffing those chinos so we can check out those cool sneakers. Some things never change, with Bender's choice of plaid and denim still being a go-to for so many today. This look is ideal for those looking to embrace their grunge side. But of course, that means you can't overthink things. It should be somewhat effortless. Throw on your layers as you please. The key is for nothing to look too perfect. The best part is, you can source majority of these items for affordable prices at your local thrift stores. 
Back in the 80s, a really dark, black and grey look like this was considered out of place. But today, it's probably one of the most relatable and wearable of the bunch. If you're looking to create your own similar look, then be sure to stick to a boxier silhouette and oversized items with lots of layers. Don't be afraid to put your own twist on things, like I did here by opting for a polka dot print to feminize the look. All of the looks featured in The Breakfast Club are just so timeless. If you are using these as your fashion inspiration, then you really can't go wrong. But that's all for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And as always, I would love to hear from you in the comments. So let me know which character you relate to the most and share this video with your friends.